Grant. Where do you live? Ocean Avenue, Kokorit. Date of birth. 6th of the 6th month, 1956. Are you married? No. Betty, your number here is 132. Whenever you come to clinic, walk with me. Follow me. Please. Thank you. Step on the scale. It was a painless examination, but I'm still so nervous. Ladies, I'm pleased to welcome you to our family planning clinic. Some of you have been here before, but for many of you, this is a new experience. We're pleased to see you all. I would like, in a few minutes, to tell you or remind you of the benefits of this clinic and to introduce to you the methods of birth control that we offer. To deal with the first subject, the benefits of family planning, I would like to go over them so as to help you to confirm in your minds that you did the correct thing coming here today. Having the number of children you want when you would like to have them is the essence of family planning. The obvious benefits which I'm sure come to your mind are the economic benefits. If you control the size of your family, you're better able to provide for the basic food, clothes, education, and health needs. There are also social benefits. You'll have more time to spend on things that interest you, like work, hobbies, involvement in your community life, holidays, etc. You do not only have more time for your personal interests, but you have more time to devote to each child to play with them, to listen to their conversations, to hug and love them. These things are very important for your child's security and future development, his success in school, the reduction of problems in the difficult teenage years, and a host of other benefits which those of you who attend a child welfare clinic have heard me stress from time to time. You do not only have more time for yourself and for your children, but for your husbands too. And I do not have to tell you how very important this is for a successful family life. Now let us briefly discuss the methods of contraception that are available in this clinic. I'm not going to go into too much detail because when you have selected a method, you will get individual counseling on its use. There are, however, two points I'd like to make. The first is that for the best results, you should decide with your partner which method is best. You'll probably hear of birth control methods here today which you did not know about before. If you want to reconsider your choice with your husband, feel free to return and discuss it with us. Bring him if you can. We'll be only too pleased to talk it over with you both. The second point I'd like to make is that every family planning method does not suit everybody. But there is one for each one of you sitting here today. Please bear in mind that you'll be given your method of choice as long as there is no medical reason why you should not have it. Nurse, I understand the pill causes cancer. There is no medical evidence that the pill causes cancer. Cancer has been in existence long before the pill was made. At the family planning clinic, every woman is examined by the doctor and given a test for cancer. What is the best method of birth control to use? There is no best method. As I've said before, the best method is the one most suited to the individual couple's needs. These are the methods. The pills. This is a packet of 21 pills. 
The woman takes one every day beginning on the fifth day of the menstrual cycle. If you take the pill correctly, the egg which develops in your ovaries and grows into a baby on fertilization do not ripen and so the woman does not become pregnant. Another method which I'm sure you've all heard of is the intrauterine device. You call it the loop or coil. It is an S-shaped piece of plastic with a string attached. It's a very good method of birth control and has widespread use all over the world. There are several birth control methods which act as barriers. That is, they prevent the sperm or male cells from coming into contact with the female egg. These are the barrier methods. The diaphragm. the condom, the cream, the foam, and the jelly. The diaphragm is made of rubber with a spring in the rim. It comes in several sizes and you must be measured by the doctor in order to get the correct size for you. The condom is also made of rubber and is worn by your husband. You have heard it referred to as the French letter or durex. The foam screens and jellies are used by the woman with the aid of this introducer. They do not only prevent the sperm from getting into the female's womb, but they also contain a chemical substance known as a spermicide, which kill the sperm that come into contact with them. You have all spoken to the clinic clerk and have had your urines tested and your weight taken. If any of you have not had these things done, would you please check with the nursing assistant? I would like you then to come in turn to me so that I may have a private conversation with you. This would give me an opportunity to discuss with each of you your special needs. In the meantime, if there are any questions, I would be only too pleased to answer them. Janet, I wish and I hope the pregnancy test proves negative. okay with me. I understand. I know the kids must be looked after. How is mom's? Betty, how is everything going? Well, they gave me a pregnancy test at the family planning clinic. So I'm waiting for the results now. Harry, does this mean that she may not be pregnant after all? God, I hope I'm not. But even if I'm pregnant, I'm no longer depressed about it. I am not alone with my problems anymore. The family planning people are so marvelous. Imagine I was so ignorant as to take a chance on sex. What's the matter with you, Betty? I've not seen you for more than a week. And you've passed me. Not a word. What are you up to? 
It's a bit warm in here. Let's all take a walk. Boy, what a life. So soft and comforting. Carl, I wish you would not. Betty, I found someone who could help us in. What are you talking about, Carl? How would this somebody help us? This somebody is a friend of mine. Well, he has a friend who knows someone who could perform an abortion for you. Carl, how much would the operation cost? About $200, I think. Have you got that kind of money to give me? No, Betty. But I think I know someone who would lend it to you. I don't know, Betty. It's just a chance you'd have to take. I don't think it's a bad chance, really. I don't have to take a chance like that. Carl, half the deaths among pregnant women are caused by abortion. I prefer to be pregnant than to be dead. Who told you so? The people at the family planning clinic. Betty, honey, I was only trying to help. When I need help, I'll go to the people who are qualified to give it. I don't mind being a father. It's no problem to me. Carl, are you prepared to support a child? Just like a woman, always thinking about money. The baby is as much Betty's fault as it is mine. If Betty cannot support the child, I'll give it to my mother to support. You brute, I am disgusted. All you care about, Carl, is having the baby as proof of your own virility. So what? Does that make you different from any other man? Any of the boys here would welcome an opportunity. You have a child. Yes, yes, that's true. Carl, we talk like a man. Oh, Carl, how can you say such a thing? You have been brainwashed by the authorities. The family planning program is just another attempt to push poor people around. But the poor must fight back. They must hang on to their dignity. Carl, boy, you are really great. You know what's happening. Why don't you fools shut up and grow up? Dignity means self-respect and respect for others including our own girlfriends. A newborn baby has a better chance of attaining this dignity if it has a secure home life. The poverty doesn't matter. No girl should allow herself to be used to prove her boyfriend's manhood. And in your ignorance of the facts of life, you girls are placing your future in the hands of boys, not only as ignorant as you are, but less concerned. I think all of you girls should attend the family planning clinic so that you can prepare yourselves for proper adult life. Betty may be pregnant. If she is, what is her position now? Betty. Good night. Night, Harry. Night, Janet. Oh, Betty, just a minute. No matter Can what you hear what's going on in the back there? Realize how serious the problem is. Yes, Cecil. You're right. But what would Betty do? I wonder how many of the boys and girls will take your advice, Harry, and visit the clinic and really learn something for a change. If you ask me, that sort of lesson should be compulsory. <laughs> 